हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट थ्योरी क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट थ्योरी इज गिवन बाय हार्वे लिबनस्टाइन ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट थ्योरी इफ अंडर डेवलप कंट्री वांट टू ब्रेक देयर विशियस साइकिल ऑफ पॉवर्टी दे नीड टू डू सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इकोनॉमिकल ग्रोथ इफ अंडर help country want to break their vicious cycle of poverty they need to do certain amount of investment that is required for economical growth or we can say that if underdeveloped country want to come out from their poverty trap they need to do that amount of investment that is required for economical growth and investment that is required for economical growth is critical minimum effort investment that is required for economical growth is critical minimum effort if underdeveloped country want to break their vicious cycle of poverty they need to do critical minimum effort okay to understand this whole theory you need to understand two type of forces first is shocks and other one stimulant what does mean by shocks shocks are income depressing force shocks basically reduce income of any economy shocks basically depress economical development of any country okay for example if in any country have a lack of technology if in any country uh, have a lack of new method lack of new invention they are using old method of production all country are becoming advanced but this country are using old method of production using old method of technology as a result income of this country will depress and economical development of these country will depress okay because stimulant are those for that depress income as well as economical development of any country on the other hand stimulant just opposite to shocks stimulant are income generating forces okay shocks basically encourage economical development of any country for example if in any country have a technology have a human capital uh, in if in any country technology and human capital and continue increasing by by using technology and human capital country can generate lot of income because these are basically income generating force okay stimulant are income generating force for example technology and human capital and stimulant are income depressing force for example lack of technology using old method of production okay now understand this whole concept of this theory you need to understand this diagram okay in x axis we take per capita income and induce income growth okay don't be confused in x axis we take uh, per capita income and induce income growth and in y axis we take per capita capita income and induce income decline okay x axis induce income growth and y axis induce income decline mean in x axis we take per capita income and growth in induce income in y axis we take per capita income and decline in induce income okay and this 45 degree straight line represent balanced growth path in any economy this 45 degree straight line represent balanced growth path in any economy and this black one curve this z1 z1 black one curve represent shocks shocks as a, as we earlier discussed income depressing force this z1 z1 curve represent shocks shocks are income depressing force and this green one x1 x1 curve represent stimulant stimulant are income generating force okay z1 uh, z1 black one curve repre represent shocks and x1 x1 curve green one curve represent stimulant okay now in introduction of this theory i told you if country if underdeveloped country want to break their vicious cycle of poverty they need to do critical minimum effort okay means they need to do certain amount of investment that is required for economical growth okay if if underdeveloped country do investment that is equal to critical minimum effort 
लिसन केयरफुली इफ अंडर डिवेल्प कंट्री डू इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट देन इनकम ऑफ कंट्री विल इंक्रीज ओ ए टू ओ के पॉइंट ओके इफ कंट्री डू इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट देन इनकम ऑफ कंट्री विल इंक्रीज ओ ए टू ओ के ओके इनकम ऑफ कंट्री विल इंक्रीज ओ ए ओ ई टू ओ के On the other hand, if country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort, if country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort, then income of country will increase O A to O M. Okay, if country do investment that is equal to critical minimum effort, then income of country will increase O E to O K. If country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort, income will increase O E to O M. Okay. but most important thing when country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort it will not beneficial for country okay why why if country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort why these investment is not beneficial for country no doubt when country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort no doubt income increase from oe to om Look, okay, and at this level, per capita income can increase up to an A level. But, but at this level, shocks are more than stimulant in any economy. Okay, at this income, at OM income level, amount of shocks is equal to FB. At OM income level, amount of shocks is equal to FB. This black one curve represents shocks, and B line touch to black one curve. So this FB is amount of shocks, and amount of stimulant is fa okay this green curve represents stimulant and a touch a x y green curve okay so fb is amount of shocks at om income level uh, which is generated from the investment below the critical minimum minimum amount uh, shocks are more than stimulant amount of shocks is equal to fb okay amount of shocks is equal to fb and amount of stimulant is f a you can clearly see f b is more than f a okay as a result economy will move downward economy will follow the downward path uh, downward path of a b c d e okay you can see uh, when country do investment that is below from the critical minimum effort as a result country follow downward path country is moving downward economy is going backward economy is going downward okay uh, instead of rising our economical development our economical development is uh, uh, declining you can easily say country is moving downward country is falling downward pass on a b c d finally it comes at e point e is lowest equilibrium point e is very lowest equilibrium point because country do investment less than that is required country do investment below the critical minimum effort as a result country follow a downward path Eco economy move downward okay from a to e point e is very uh, lowest equilibrium equilibrium point on the other hand if country do investment that is equal to critical minimum level if country do investment that is critical minimum level then income will generate om to ok point if country do investment that is equal to critical minimum level income will generate om to ok level okay at this level per capita income can increase up to sg level okay per capita income can increase up to sg level and g is basically critical minimum point okay at g point stimulant r and shocks are equal to each other at highest equilibrium point at g point stimulant r and shocks are equal to each other at highest equilibrium point okay after g point you can see that after g point this z1 z1 curve is uh, shocks and x1 x1 curve is stimulant z1 is income depressing force x1 is income gener generating force after g point your income depressing force is going down you can see z1 curve is going down and x1 curve is income generating force curve is going upward means after g point you are uh, income depressing uh, depressing force becoming weaker and income generating curve become becoming stronger as a result your economy will move endless expansion of per capita income you can see this by this arrow your after g point your country your economy will move 
एंड लेस एक्सपेंशन ऑफ यूर पर कैपिटा इनकम ओके दिस इज रिजल्ट कंट्री डू इन्वेस्टमेंट इक्वल टू क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट सो इट इज वेरी इंसेंशियल अंडर डेवेल्प कंट्री मस्ट डू इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट आई थिंक यू गॉट अंडरस्टूड अबाउट होल थ्योरी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड टेक केयर बाय